So on April 7th, I received a vision in the morning, and it was right around 3 o'clock in the morning. And so this vision has to do with the sun and how hot the sun is going to get. So the first image was a man, and this man had a rifle, and he was very angry with the sun, and he just started firing the rifle at the, at the sun because the sun was so hot. And I don't have a picture of this, but people were running away from the sun, and they held like a shield between them, just like a um, two foot by two foot, you know, cardboard or some kind of shield that they held with their two hands and just using that as they walked on the street, you know, just trying to run away from the sun, uh, blocking the sun away from them. And then also the next image was birds, just like this chicken. And it was running away, but as it was running away, the feathers right here were catching on fire. And I was like, oh no, you know, and the bird was, ah, you know, running away, trying to run away and catching on fire. So it was very scary. And then uh, the next vision, and it looked like, you know, fire and brimstone coming down to earth. And, uh, I can't, I couldn't tell from the vision how, what the size was. If they were small, you know, fire and brimstone or large fire and brimstone. And it was daytime, you know, but this was the closest, um, photo I could, I could, you know, come up with, you know, from the internet. Um, and then the next thing I saw, which is like, blow my mind. It was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it was like running in the desert and I don't know if the Tyrannosaurus, I cannot remember if the Tyrannosaurus Rex itself was catching on fire or just, just seeing a Tyrannosaurus Rex is just, what? You know, like, are we actually going to see one, you know, like in our lifetime coming up? Like, what? Ah! You know, so that was amazing to see a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, from, from all this, seeing everything so hot, you know, from the sun and then seeing a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, the last vision was... And I'm just going to go back to the cowboy here. The last vision was Jesus. And children were gathered around Jesus. And he was giving them a layer of protection. So if you are with Jesus, Jesus will protect you. And he would, he would like put a veil over the, ch over the children. And they were just there happy and nothing was happening to them. So the sun was not hurting them when they were with Jesus. So, hallelujah. You know, thank you for that, dear Lord. Um, so I have some statements, or the, the verses from the Bible. Uh, the first verse is from Revelations 8, and then verse 7. So this is, you know, the first, first trumpet. And so the first of the seven trumpets. So the first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of trees were burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. So that's Revelation chapter 8, verse 7. And I think that's what this vision was about. Uh, the next part that I want to also include is uh, Revelation 9, chapter 9, verses 20 and 21. And uh, so here we'll, we're going to have all these horrible things happen to us, but will men repent? And this verses 20, 21 will say if they do. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. So the men, you know, will live through this plague and they're not going to learn. 
and it's just very sad. Because, because you know, if we all just believed in Jesus and said, I'm sorry, Jesus, please forgive me. You know, please, I open my heart to you. If we all just did that, then we wouldn't have any of these plagues. Give yourself to Jesus. Give yourself to the Lord. All right. Thank you, everyone. God bless.